Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Medfield Warriors Volleyball. Tonight we have a uh, big Tri-Valley League match. The Warriors are taking on uh, the Hopkinton Hillers. Hopkinton comes in at 11 and 2. Medfield comes in at 8 and 3. Uh, Medfield coming off a tough stretch of their schedule, taking on the iron of Massachusetts Volleyball, having played Notre Dame twice and Barnesville once in the last four games. Didn't come away with any wins in those games, but strong competition will always make you better, and they're hoping to start a win streak tonight against Hopkinton. Squads are on the floor, the handshakes are done, a little bit of chairing, and we'll check out the uh, starting lineups here. Okay, as soon as Medfield breaks the huddle, we'll get the starting lineups. Looks like, from what I can tell, Anna Carr and Caroline Beck will be sharing the setter and opposite duties. Looks like Peyton we met back in at middle, opposite Kristen Fetchel Cotter. Or no, I'm sorry, for Kristen playing outside, opposite Natalie Zaluzniak. So Meredith Murray, opposite Peyton at middle. With Lizzie Taylor coming in at Labarro. Medfield has the service here to start, and there's the signal from the down ref, and Anna Crow to start things off with the first serve of the night. Side set, nice single block to Peyton. Tip, saved by Anna. Side again, and down for the kill. Number 15 for Hopkinton, Holly Adams. Now it's a very strong player. We'll be seeing a lot of her tonight. Hopkinton coming in with a tall squad tonight. Still looking for their uh, first win all time against Medfield, as we were just sitting here trying to recollect. Don't think it's ever happened. Natalie back to serve. Middle attack. Off the defense and out for the point. Two one for Hopkinton in the early going. Attack is a tip, dug up by Caroline. Outside for Kristen. Attack is dug up. Rolled over, passed up by Abby. Back set, Peyton attacks, tips it, but they dig it. Outside again for Adams, off the block. Nice save by Anna. And off the block and out. Point midfield. Good back and forth there. Early point in the match. Peyton Wimit back to serve. Side for Adams and the attack is long. Three two for Medfield. Outside for Adams and off the defense for the point. Definitely their go-to hitter. And she rotates back to serve at 3-3. Back set for Caroline Bleck. Off the block and down for the point. Nice back set from Anna. Caroline back to serve, so she'll take over the setting duties for the next three rotations. Back row set for Adams, who passes it over, and it's down for the point. The attack pass to the deep corner worked that time.
Passed up by Abby. Back set for Kristen. Tack down for the kill. Nice swing there from Kristen Fetchelkoffer. And she's back to serve. Medfield leading 5-4. Side set, off the block and down. Double block was there, but didn't quite control it. set. Block is there. Good work for Medfield. Hoppington slid the middle out to a 32 spot there, but the block adjusted. Good point for Medfield as Lizzie serves. And it's a service ace. Teams trading points here in the early going. 6-5, now 7-5 for Medfield. Dug by Lizzie. And a double touch on the ball off the partition. Service error point midfield. Midfield leads 8 6. Anna rotates back to serve. <laughs> Off the block and down for the point for Hopkinton. Holly Adams again. Set for Peyton, rolls it deep, they pass it up. Outside for Adams, off the block and down. Listen is six feet on the roster, seems a little taller than that, and she's got the long arms to go with it. Eight all here. And a lucky roll off the tape, down for the point. <laughs> Passed up by Lizzie. Backward attack from Christian. And it's a winner. Hopkinton can't control it, point midfield. Tied up at nine all. <laughs> Serve into the net. For Natalie and Abby Spate, they'll rotate, or sub in I should say, for back row defense. Midfield can't control the serve. Point Hopkinton. Outside for Kristen. Through the block and down for the point. Nice swing there. Good pass set hit. Peyton, we met back to serve. Short serve is down for the ace. Nice touch on that serve. Yeah. 
Middle set. Angled inside the single block, down for the point. Hopkin Hopkinton leads 12-11. These two teams played almost exactly a month ago. A little miscommunication there on serve receive, so ace for Hopkinton. They played at Hopkinton on September 10th, and Medfield came away with a 3-1 win that night. Free ball over. Middle set. Tack is down. Hopkinton with a little bit of separation here, leading 14 to 11. Besides the common Tri Valley opponents, looks like Barnstable is the only team that both squads have played. And Hopkinton also lost against Barnstable, losing three to nothing. Christens attacks dug up. Back row set for Adams. Passed up by Abby. In the middle, Meredith tips, they dig it up. That was a double, yep, there's the whistle. <laughs> Big side out there for Medfield. Keep first set close here. Just down by two with Caroline Beck back to serve. Hopkinton has to free ball it. Nice pass from Lizzie. Back set. Earth attacks, but it's long. Pass from Abby. Side for Anna. Kristen rolls it over, they pass it up. Outside, off the block, but out. Block was there, but deflected out of bounds. Point Hopkinton, and their lead is back up to four. It's 16 to 12. Anna tries the roll shot down the line, but caught the net. Point Hopkinton. Medfield looking for a side out right here. Short serve is down for an ace. Not sure that was completely intentional. Sounded like a little bit of a miss hit, but it worked out perfect. Bump set for Kristen, passes it over. Middle attack, off the block, and down. Couldn't handle the deflection. And Hopkinton on a pretty good run here, up 19 to 12. Back set for Kristen. Strong attack, but dug up. Middle set. Off the block and down. Hopkinton just getting into their offense a little bit more so far this last stretch of the first set, and they're now up 20 to 12. Free ball from Medfield. Oh, and a nice touch on the back set for the kill. Nice dump from the setter, number two, Renee Cooperidger. Cooprider, rather, sorry. Midfield down 21 to 12 here in the first set. Rolled over by Anna. Passed up. 
Outside set. And the pass is out of bounds. Point Medfield. Good work on the block there by Medfield. Kristen back to serve. Natalie back into the front row. Now he's going to take a break. And the overpass is out of bounds. Point Medfield. There's two of them back. Medfield down 21 to 14. Good serve. Middle attack. And off the defense and out for the point. Rolled over by Natalie. Outside set. Rolled. Passed up. Side for Natalie again. The attack. Into the net and down to the floor. Point Medfield. Medfield controlling the play a little better on that point. Got to get a few more of those in a row here. Down 22-15. Dug up. Back row set for Kristen. Passed over. Outside for Natalie. Tips it. It's passed up. Inside attack. Into the net. Point midfield. 22 to 16 for Hopkinton. Lizzie serves, and off the Labarra for an ace, point midfield. And Coach Grabmeyer wants a timeout for Hopkinton. So midfield's close within five here. Down 22-17. One minute timeouts, each team gets two timeouts per set, and it's the first one taken by Hopkinton tonight. Medfield back on the court after a quick word with Coach Hastings. Lizzie to serve. Double touch on the set. Twenty-two to eighteen. Side set. Tip. Rolled over by Lizzie. And an unlikely bounce from midfield there. The overpass hit the tape and just trickled over onto the midfield side, onto the floor. So Point Hopkinton. And they lead 23 to 18. Back set for Anna. It's passed up. Bump set for Adams. Off the block and down for the point. Good work by Peyton Rumet there. Medfield within four. 23-19. Peyton back to serve. Merrith Murray into the front row. Little miscommunication on the midfield side. They had to check the service order. It's actually Anna's turn to serve. Middle set, double block is there, but the angle shot finds the deep corner. And Hopkinton now has uh, five set points in set number one, leading 24-19. 
Set for Payton. Hopkinton gets it back. The attack from Adams. Off the block and out. And the first set goes to Hopkinton, 25 to 19. It was a back and forth set early on. But then Hopkinton created a little separation midway through. Adams had some success. Medfield's going to have to work on the block and know where Adams is at all times. So I'm sure they'll talk it over. Got a three minute break here before the next uh, set begins. I will let you know at this time that for sports all year long, tune into Medfield TV each week. We will air high school games and special sports shows to get involved and, and get your favorite local sports team on the air. Be sure to call 508-359-7521 or email info at medfield.tv. And remember that Medfield TV is your local community communications resource. And we'll be back with set number two in about two minutes. All right, well, the teams are back on the court for set number two, both huddling up. Last minute encouragement for each side. Looking over at the Medfield side, looks like the same lineup. Natalie Zaluzniak, and Kristen Fetchlikoffer at the outsides, Meredith Murray and Peyton we met at the middles, Anna Carr and Caroline Beck at center and opposite, with Lizzie Taylor coming in at libero for the middles, and Abby Spates subbing in on defense for Natalie if the same rotation is used this set. So Midfield's going to get off to a quick start here. Don't want Hopkins to get too much momentum. And we have the signal for service, and Hopkinton starts off set number two. We have the service error. Natalie back to serve for Medfield. Passed up nicely. Outside set for Kristen. It's dug up and rolled back over, but long. Point midfield. 2 0 for midfield in the early going here. A little miscommunication on the uh, offensive call there. Adams thought the play was being run to the inside, and the setter sent the ball outside. 3 0 midfield. And so this ace, and a nice quick start that they needed for the Warriors here, up 4 nothing in the second set. Bump set for Adams. And Lizzie Taylor felt like it was coming down and play, played it, but off her hands and out. Point Hopkinton. Passed up by Christian, and she gets the set from Anna, and it's down for the kill. Nice, strong attack from Christian. A good snap driving that ball down into the floor. Inside the double block, found the angle. And Peyton we met rotates back to serve. Merrick Murray into the front row. Looked like a double touch, but the ball went right to Merritt, who knocked it down for the kill. And midfield lead 6-1. Short serve from Payton. Pancaked nicely by the Labarro, but they have to free ball it over. Outside for Christian. The block was there, but they get it back. Back set for Caroline. The block is there again. Nice passed up by Peyton. Anna plays it over. Adams just passes it back. Back row attack from Peyton. It's dug up. Adams free balls it over. Outside for Kristen. The attack. It's blocked. Attack pass from midfield. It's dug up. Missed timing on the set there. Good rally, good point. 
And Medfield pulled it out, and they lead 6-1. Make that 7-1 in the second set. Another short serve, it's passed up nicely. Outside for Adams. Kristen digs it up. Attacks, down for the kill. Great stuff from Medfield here starting out set number two. And Coach Grabmeyer wants a timeout with Medfield up eight to one. Exactly what the Warriors needed to get this match rolling in their direction again. Medfield keeping the pressure on, not letting Hopkinton get into their offense. A lot of free balls and roll shots coming back their way. And that's what's going to take. Just keep the pressure on. Don't let them get into their offense. You get into your offense first. And things are going to go your way. So fairly quick word from both teams. Okay, we have the signal for service. Peyton, we met back to serve. Attack from Adams is down for the kill. Service error. Point midfield. <laughs> Caroline Beck serves. Hoffman just has to pass it over. Side set for Kristen. Rolls it deep. They pass it up. And Adams is in the net, and they didn't call it. Middle set, tip, down for the point. Nine to three for Medfield, Adams back to serve. Passed over by Murray. Nice dig off the setter attack by Krista, and then she knocks it down for the kill. A lot of good attacking from Krista tonight from the outside. And then she rotates back to serve, and Natalie back into the front row. Abby Spath rotates out. The overpass. Ball ends up on midfield side. Back row attack from Kristen. Down for the kill. Eleven to three for midfield. Back row set for Adams. Attack is deep. 12-3 for Medfield. Outside set, but the block is there, but it's saved by Hopkinton, but can't get the second touch. Point Medfield. A little miscommunication between the setter and the other defenders there. The general rule is if the setter doesn't ask for help, you just leave it alone and let her get it, but she couldn't make it. Point midfield, 13 to three lead. Another free ball from Hopkinton. Back set. Rolled over. Outside for Natalie. Off the block and down for the point. Things rolling along nicely in the second set now for the Warriors. Really getting into their offense. Having a lot of success attacking from the outside. And they lead 14 to three. Passed up, middle set. Dug up nicely by Caroline Beck. Natalie goes down the line for the kill. 
Little directional tip. Nice touch. Point midfield. And Hopkinton wants their second and final timeout of set number two, down 15 to three here. Yep, quick huddle for midfield. Coach Grabmeyer just trying to settle things down here. Volleyball is a game of momentum. And they really had the momentum in set one. Relax a little bit, let the other team get it, and they can just take off with it. Well, that's what midfield's doing in set number two here. So hopefully they can just keep it rolling. Finish out the set and then go from there. And Christian serves. Set outside. And off the block and down for the point. Hopping, he got the good pass from Adams. Gave the setter a lot of options. Nice ball to the outside, and they knocked it down. Pass set hit. Got to serve tough, so they don't have a chance to do it before you do. And midfield has to free ball it over. Nice pass from Lizzie. Deflection off the ceiling. Midfield can't handle it. Fifteen to five for midfield. And the short serve is into the net. Good serve there, and they just have to free ball it back. Side for Natalie. The overpass, oh, and miscommunication there. Anna and Caroline both went to set the ball. Back set for Anna. Hopkinson digs it up. Set. But the attack is into the net. Anna Craw back to serve at 17 6. Side set. Lizzie made a diving play, couldn't pull it off. Point Hopkinton. Hopkinton to serve. Nice play by Anna Crow to keep it alive. The tip is passed up. Side for Natalie, tips it. Down for the point. Nice work by midfield there. Great save by Anna Crow to keep that point alive. Medfield leads 18 to seven. Little attack as he passes it up. We get it to Kristen. Attack is long. <laughs> Anna sets it for Kristen. Attack is down for the kill, right between the defense. A little miscommunication there on the Hopkinton side. Medfield leads 19 to eight.
Peyton serves. Short serve. Was nicely done, but they dig it up. But it's a free ball back. Side for Kristen. Outside. Adams attacks into the net. Nice touch on that serve. Peyton, we met, not letting Hopkins really get into their offense. And it's 20 to 8 for Medfield. That time they passed it up, and Adams knocked it down for the kill. You're not going to really stop burn situations like that. Really, what you can do is just limit the opportunities. Midfield leads 20 to 9. Outside for Christian. They dig it this time. Outside set for Adams. Christian again off the block and up for the point. 21 to 9 for midfield. Overpass, and Murray tips it down. Every middle's favorite play. Knocking down the overpass for the kill. Passed up, middle set. Block is there, but the ball deflects out of bounds. Point Hopkinton. Adams back to serve, so out of the front row for three rotations. Caroline Beck tried to save it off the net, couldn't quite pull it off. Point Hopkinton. Kristen back to serve, leading 23 to 11. Free ball from Hopkinton. As he passes up nicely, outside to Natalie. But the attack is long. Strong attack from Murray, but off the block and in play. Hopkinton attacks back, attack is long. Some people looking for a tip on the midfield block, but di didn't think so. And multiple set points here in set number two for midfield. Lizzie serves. They pass it over. Lizzie digs it up. Back set for Anna, the attack. Into the net and down for the point and Medfield decisively comes back in set number two and takes it by a score of 25 to 12. So after dropping the first set, 25-19, Medfield quickly regroups. They jumped out really fast with a lead of eight to one and then another one of 15 to three and eventually took the set 25 to 12. We're all tied up at one set apiece. So. Real good stuff there, that set for Medfield. Getting to their offense, attacking well from the outside, and controlling the ball, and we're all tied up. So the teams are taking their three minute break here. And while they're doing that, I will let you know that if you would like to know more about television and media, promote your organization, event, or cause, or to have your own show even, be sure to call the studio at 508-359-7521 or visit medfield.tv. And if you're enjoying tonight's uh, broadcast and would like to have a copy for yourself or any of our other shows or games, to request copies, go to www.medfield.tv slash DVD copy request. Those are three separate words. And also, if, while you're online, if you want to find out when your favorite shows are on, 
medfield.tv slash TV guy. Sunday nights are when the new listings go up. Good time to check. And the teams are talking things over. We'll be back with set number three in a couple minutes. So we're back getting ready for set number three here. Tied up at one set apiece. Medfield already on the court. Starting lineup. Talking things over in the huddle. Here comes Hopkinton after a final chair. Looks like the same lineups for both squads. Again have Peyton we met, Meredith Murray at the middles, Natalie Zaluzniak, Kristen Fetchelkoffer at the outsides, Caroline Beck and Anna Krah sharing setter and opposite duties, and Lizzie Taylor coming in at Libero for the middles. And we'll be seeing Abby Spaeth in the back row for Natalie. Don Official is checking the starting lineups. Or he will as soon as Hopkinton breaks their huddle and takes their positions. There are six positions or rotations for volleyball. Three front row positions, three back row positions. And you start in a particular spot and then rotate through. And we have the signal for service, and Anna Crow will start us off. The overpass. Back set for Peyton, but the attack is in the net. Hopkinton with another moon ball serve. Set outside for Caroline. Nice save by Lizzie. Keeps it alive for Medfield. Middle set. Block is there. Down for the point. Good job by Peyton and Natalie. Natalie back to serve. Free ball from Hopkinton. Middle set for Peyton. Off the block and down for the point. Medfield leads two to one in the early going here. The overpass, Peyton tried to knock it down, but they dug it up. Good pass from Lizzie. Set for Christian, rolls it. And the Hoppington can't control it. Oh, they did, but wasn't that four? Saved by Peyton. Attack from Kristen, they dig it up. That looked like a double touch, but they didn't call it. Caroline attacks, they dig it. Free ball, popped up by Peyton. And it sets it for Peyton, the tip. They dig it up, the overpass, Peyton knocks it down. Nice play by Peyton, we met. Couple calls could have gone Medfield's way in that point. They didn't, but they hung in there and took the point anyway. Natalie back to serve. Tips dug up. Back set for Kristen. The attack. Another free ball. Good pass from Lizzie. Side for Kristen. Off the tape and down for the point. Medfield leads 4-1 in the early going here, picking up right where they left off in set number two. Middle attack, but Peyton blocks it. Outside for Adams, the block is there, but off it and down, out of bounds for the point, Hopkinton. Abby Spaeth subbing in for back row for Natalie. Side for Kristen. Off the block and down for the point. <laughs> P 
Dayton serves. Short serve again. Passed up. Outside for Adams. And drills it down before the block is there. Point Hopkinton. Medfield leads 5-3. Adams back to serve for Hopkinton. As he passes it up nicely. Outside for Kristen. Down the line for the kill. Nice pass set hit there. So Medfield gets it right back. And up 6-3. Caroline Beck with the serve. Outside set. And down for the kill. Rolled over by Anna, but it's long. Point Hopkinton, midfield lead 6-5. Passed up nicely by Abby, the back set. Kristen attacks. They dig it up. But it's a free ball back. Good pass from Lizzie. Kristen again. Dug up. Carolyn gets it up to Kristen. Rolls it over. They dig it. Roll shot. Passed up. To Kristen again. The roll shot. Outside attack for Hopkinton. Off the block and down for the point. A lot of back and forth. Good point there. But the final deflection goes Hopkinton's way. And we're all tied up at six. Set for Anna, the attack. Hopkins has to free ball, barely over the net. Outside for Kristen, off the block, they dig it up. The free ball, passed up by Abby. Back set for Anna. They pass it up. Dug up by Meredith, set for Kristen. Cross court attacks down for the point. Nice directional attack from Kristen there. Midfield up 7-6. Some good back and forth so far in this third set here. Both teams sensing the urgency with it all tied up at 1-1. Kristen serves. Natalie's back in the front row. Back row attack from Adams. Passed up nicely by Kristen. Natalie rolls it over. Outside set. Tipped up off the block. Back row attack from Kristen. And the overpass is out of bounds. Point midfield. Good serve from Kristen is dug up. Middle attack. Down for the kill. Lefty middle there from Hopkinton. So the angles are a little different. Bump set for Natalie. Rolls it deep. Middle attack again. Nice pass by Kristen. If that keeps it alive. Lizzie with nice directional touch. It just caught the top of the net and fell the wrong way. Good idea. Didn't quite work out. We tied it eight all. Short serve is passed up. Back row attack from Kristen. And another kill. 
strong night on the offense so far for Kristen Feschelkoff. I got to be well into the double digits already in kills. Still early in set number three. Medfield leading 9-8. Outside set. Off the block and down for the point. And it's 9 all. As he passes it up, set for Anna. Block is there. Midfield keeps it alive. And Kristen with another kill. Out of system, but got it in a good spot. Off the defense and out for the point. And a crawl back to serve. Hoffington keeps it alive with the free ball. Anna tried to dump over, but they passed it up. But the attack from Adams is long. Midfield leads 11-9. Good strong serve from Anna, but they get it to Adams. But the block is there for Peyton. We met. Another good single block on Adams, but Peyton we met. Having a good night at the net so far. 12-9 for Medfield, creating a little bit of separation here. Passed over. Peyton pops it up. Back set for Caroline. Tack is down for the point. I think there was a little deflection there, and Libero missed it. And with Medfield up 13-9 here. Coach Grabmeyer wants timeout number one of the third set for Hopkinton. Some strong plays so far here in the third set. Both teams having some success, but Medfield still maintain the momentum, though, even despite Hopkinton giving a better battle. Four-point lead here. They're getting to their offense just a little bit more. Just keep that going, and things will keep going Medfield's way. Medfield back on the court. Here comes Hopkinton. Have the signal from the down official, and now signal for service from the first official, and Anna Cry back to serve for Medfield. And a service ace. Hopkinton ball control just starting to slip a little bit here, in the middle part of the match. Medfield up 14 to nine. Outside for Adams, but she was expecting a different set. And fires it into the ceiling, point midfield. Passed over, Kristen gets it up to Anna. Outside for Natalie, they're all shot, does not make it over the net. Four touches on midfield. Hopkins back to serve. Midfield leading 15 to 10. Back set for Natalie. Roll shot over. Side for Adams. Lizzie digs it up. Nice play by Anna Crow to keep it alive off the net, and Lizzie gets it back over. Kristen passes it up. Back row attack from Kristen. Outside for Adams. Good work on the block there from Caroline Beck. Outside for Natalie. 
Rolls it deep, they pass it up. Middle attack, just a roll shot. Back set for Peyton. Hoffman got it to Adams, off the block and out for the point. Good volleyball there from both sides. Good strong point, but goes Hopkinton's way at the end. And it's 15 to 11 for Medfield here. As he passes it up nicely. Middle set for Peyton with the tip. And we have a net violation on the block. Number 11 for Hopkinton touching the net. You cannot touch the net while attacking or blocking. So point Medfield. Medfield leads 16 to 11. And the attack is wide. Point Medfield. Natalie back to serve. Christian back into the front row for three rotations. Outside for Adams. And a blocking violation on Medfield that time. Caroline Beck touching the net. Abby Spates subs in for defense for Natalie. Passed up by Lizzie. Outside for Kristen. Hopkinson keeps it alive. Free ball from Medfield. But it found a soft spot in the defense, and then the overpass out of bounds. Good, little good fortune there for Medfield. And Peyton Wimet goes back to serve with Medfield leading 18 to 12. Middle set, the tip is passed up. Kristen rolls it over. Set for Adams, and she finds the angle off the single block. Point Hopkinton. Adams rotates into the back row for three rotations. It's her service. Passed up by Kristen. Anna tries the dump, but Defense is there. Passed up by Lizzie. Back set for Caroline, the attack. They pass it up. Outside set, but the attack's into the net. 19 to 13 for Medfield, here in set number three, with it all tied up at one set apiece. Good deep serve. Back row attack from Adams, and it's long. And Coach Grabmeyer wants her second timeout. One minute timeout. Referee signals, Hopkinton finally breaks the huddle. Caroline Beck serves. Good strong serve, and it's just going to be a free ball back again from Hopkinton. Lizzie passes it up. Attack for Natalie. Off the block and down. Good strong point for midfield there, all starting with a nice deep serve. And 21 13 for midfield. Outside set. Attack is wide. 22 to 13 for Medfield. <laughs> Hopkinton sends it into the ceiling. Point Medfield. Another strong serve from Caroline Beck. Free ball from Hopkinton. 
Lizzie passes it up. Outside for Kristen. And the angle attack is down for the point. Set was a little outside, but double block was there, but Kristen adjusted nicely, found the angle down for the point, and Medfield with multiple set points here in set number three. And the serve is just long. So it's 24 to 14. Medfield talking about a touch on the service. And after a discussion, that is the ruling. I think Hoppington called that one on themselves. So it's 25-13 in set number three for Medfield. Medfield now leading two sets to one. They dropped the first set 25-19, to but then came roaring back to take set number two, 25 to 12, and now set number three, 25 to 13. And let's see if they can keep it right on rolling here into set number four and take the match. While the teams take their uh, three-minute break here, I will ask you, have you checked out our website, www.medfield.tv? See what you're missing and get involved. I know Hong LeBruno, who's on camera tonight, could use some help in the office with editing, so if you just interested in working behind the scenes. There's uh, plenty of things and projects to be done. Uh, and besides just working in the back of the office or whatever you might like to do, you can learn more about television and media, promote your organization, event or cause, even have your own show. So to find out more, just call the studio at 508-359-7521 or visit medfield.tv. And remember, as we mentioned a few times per show, Medfield TV is your local community communications resource. So we'll be back in a couple minutes with set number four. Well, the teams are back on the court for set number four here. Medfield leading two sets to one and hoping they can just run out the streak here after dropping the first set. Nice quick three in a row. Looks like the same starting lineups. Natalie and Kristen at the outsides. Peyton and Meredith Murray at the middles as Hopkinton serves it wide. Caroline and Anna at center and opposite with Lizzie Taylor at Libero. And Abby Spaeth will be doing some defensive work for Natalie in the back row as Natalie serves. Passed over by Hopkinton. Outside for Kristen. It's dug up. Kristen attacks, off the block and down for the point. <laughs> Natalie serves. Generous no call on the setter. As Peyton has a nice little tip over the double block. Point midfield. And for the third set in a row, Medfield out to a quick start. Up a three zip here in the early going. Bump set. Tacked over and down for the kill. Abby subbing in for Natalie. Passed up nicely. Kristen rolls it deep. Passed over by Hopkinton. Abby passes it up to Anna. Outside for Kristen. Off the block and down for the kill. Peyton rotates back to serve. Meredith Murray into the front row. Bump set for the middle. Oh. The attack is down for the kill. Making the Hopkinton bench happy. Medfield leads 4-2. 
Back set for Caroline back, but they, they get it back. Oh, that was a tough one. How do you get a double touch when you bump it with your fist? Yep, 4 3 for Medfield. Side for Kristen. Nice save off the net by Meredith. And the attack from the back row. Down for the kill from Anna. Good strong attack. Caroline Beck back to serve. And Hopkinson can't control it. Little miscommunication in the back. Point Medfield. Medfield up six to three. And another strong serve. Service ace for Caroline. Hopkinton serve received, just not as effective as in set number one. There's a good pass, gets in the middle set, but the block is there. Outside for Adams, at the, got the double touch on the set. Point Medfield. Medfield leads 8-3. Outside for Kristen. But the attack is long. Attack from Murray is off the block and passed up. Back row attack from Adams is long. Setter called for it, but a little too far away, couldn't get there. So down onto the floor and point Medfield. 10 4 for Medfield here in the fourth set. Just keeping that same momentum going they've had for two sets now. Outside for Natalie. Roll shots passed up. Outside for the attack. And down for the point. Set for Anna. Passed up. Outside set. And the attack is long. After a good first set, Hopkinton just continues to struggle here. And it's 11 to 5 for midfield in the fourth set. Up two sets to one. Lizzie back to serve as Merrith rotates out. Peyton back into the front row. Lizzie digs it up. Attack pass from Caroline's passed up. And a little back dump from the setter. Doesn't work out this time. Catches the tape and falls on the mid uh, Hopkinton side. And Coach Grabmeyer wants to talk things over. As things are starting to slip away here for Hopkinton. Down 12 5 in the fourth set. Well, Medfield can just controlling the ball better. And the team that controls the ball at volleyball is going to win 99 out of 100 times. Control the ball. Get it to your setter. Better attacks. Pass, set, hit. As people who have watched these broadcasts before have always heard me say, pass, set, hit, you're going to win a lot of matches. And we have the signal from the down official. The one minute is up. 
Teams are back on the court. Lizzie Taylor back to serve for Medfield. There's the signal. Setter has to chase it. Back row attack. The overpass is saved by Medfield. Nice dig by Hopkinton there to keep it alive. Outside for Natalie. Outside set, tip. Natalie's there. And a good break off the net for Medfield. Deflected. Got their outside hitter in the head as she was trying to get ready to pass it. Just couldn't get out of the way. And it's 13 to 5 for Medfield. And the set is over the net. Medfield plays it. Peyton attacks. And it's a free ball back from Hopkinton. Outside for Natalie. The attack pass. They dig it up. Outside set. Roll shot. As he passes it up nicely. Back set. Peyton tips. And the attack from the middle. Just a little bit of a change up there. Dropped in front of the back row defense. So... Good point goes Hopkinton's way. Medfield leads 13 to six. Yeah, Caroline tries the dump, but they dig it up. And another double touch on Hopkinton. And a craw back to serve at 14-6 for Medfield. Good deep serve. Hopkins has to free ball it back again. I've been saying that a bunch, but a little miscommunication there for the second time tonight between Caroline and Anna. It should have been Anna's ball. She's serving, and the, the player in the back row in the 6-2 is generally doing the setting. Miss Caroline's in the front and is attacking. And there's a double touch on Anna as the pass. Got her a little twisted chasing it. And a couple points for Hopkinton. Make it 14 to 8. Peyton has to pass it over. Set for Adams and it's down for the kill. Medfield not quite controlling the ball in the last couple serves, and as we were just talking about during the timeout, that's what happens. So three in a row for Hopkinton. Medfield up 14 to nine. Good pass, middle set for Peyton, off the block, they dig it up. Overpass and the Hopkinton middle is into the net trying for the joust. Point midfield. Fifteen to nine for midfield. Natalie back to serve. So Kristen back into the front row. Outside set for Adams, but the attack is long. Had to reach back for that set. Pass pulled the setter way out outside the 10 foot line. Couldn't really get it where Adams wanted it. And so the attack went long. That was a little better. Adams got one she liked, but midfield dug it up. We save it off the overpass nicely by Lizzie. Great work by Lizzie Taylor to earn that point for midfield. Hopkins tried to knock down the overpass, but she was there to dig it. And midfield got control back and eventually won the point. And Coach Grabmeyer. Did not like that exchange and has taken her second and I believe it's her second time out of this fourth set, right, Hon? Yes, so she's at 17 to 9. No no timeouts left for Hopkinton in set number four, but no point in saving them. Midfield is only eight points away as we speak. Natalie back to serve at 17 to 9 for Medfield.
Middle attack. Passed up by Lizzie. Outside for Kristen. Bump set. Adams free balls it over. Outside for Kristen again. The attack off the block and down for the point. Seventeen to ten for Medfield. Back set, Peyton in the middle, and the tip is nicely down. Good work by Peyton. We met getting the tip off as the momentum was carrying her the other way. Nice misdirection, and she's back to serve with Medfield leading eighteen to ten. Short serve. Hopkinton gets it back. Outside for Kristen, the roll shot. Adams attacks off the block. And down for the point. Eighteen eleven for Medfield. Abby Spade passes it up, set for Kristen, and down for the kill. A nice angle shot cross court. Nineteen to eleven for Medfield. Middle set. As you can't control it. Off the ceiling and down for the point. Adams back to serve for Hopkinton. Another high soft serve from Hopkinton. They've been doing that a lot all night. As Kristen tools the block for another kill. And it's 20 to 12 for Medfield. Natalie subs back into the front row for Abby. Kristen back to serve. Passed up. Outside set. But the attack is into the net. Point Medfield. And it's 21 to 12 for the Warriors. Passed up for the middle set. Nice dig by Kristen. Natalie attacks. And it's off the block and down. Medfield just rolling along after dropping the first set. Set number two, they jumped out early to a lead and have never looked back from there. Controlling sets number two, three, and four with ease as they're three points away now. And a little lucky break there. Off the tip from Hopkinton. They trying to bump it to the setter, and she actually bumped it perfectly over the net for the point. Now 22 to 13 for Medfield. Natalie passes it up. Middle set for Meredith. Block is there. And it passes it over. Outside set. Nice reaction off the block commander to keep it alive. Outside again. Passed up by Caroline. And it sets it for Meredith Murray. The attack is just down for the kill. Nice angle shot there. A couple great touches on that point to keep it alive. And midfield's two points away. Lizzie back to serve. Peyton back into the front row. And Hopkinton saves it, passes it over. Outside for Natalie. The attack is off the defense, and down for the point. And Medfield has 11 match points here in set number four, leading 24 to 13. And a 
so the show. Passed up by Christian, back set for Anna. The attack dug up. Little attack. Good pass from Christian. Little set for Peyton with a tip. They're there to dig it. Outside set. Tip into the net. And down and off the defense and out of bounds. Point midfield. Match to midfield. Set number four. 25 to 14. Medfield wins three sets to one after dropping the first set 25 to 19. They take complete control and run it out 25 12, 25 13, 25 14 for a convincing three sets to one victory over Hopkinton. A lot of good play for Medfield tonight. A little bit more tipping, which looked good. Better ball control, better serve received, tougher serving. Hopkinton with a lot of soft serves, just giving the ball away. Medfield didn't let the first set phase him, just kept working, and it was a good win for Medfield tonight, and Hopkinton is still looking for the first win ever against Medfield. But I have a feeling these two teams are gonna see each other again in the central section playoffs, so there will be a third match this, for the year. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's game. For our camera person, Hong LeBruno, this is R.D. Haskell saying thank you for watching, and we hope to see you at a volleyball match soon. Good night. Production support provided by Medfield.tv. Access to our community.